The mother of the woman run down in the Charlottesville attack is speaking out this morning. She has a strong message for President Trump. She says she hasn't talked to the president. And quote, after what he said about my child, I saw an actual clip of him at a press conference equating the protesters like Ms. Heyer with the KKK and the white supremacists. And that that put him out of her mind. All right, so let's discuss this with Corey Stewart. He's running to be the Republican nominee to challenge Senator Tim Kaine in 2018. He was also the Virginia chairman of Trump's campaign. It's good to have you on the show, sir. Great to be on your show, Chris. The mother's upset because she doesn't like the implication uh, that people like her daughter are being in any way equated to people who do nothing but preach hate. Well, obviously, it's a great tragedy what happened. And, uh, you know, what, what is even more tragic, though, is CNN tried to exploit this woman's death uh, to try to say that all this violence was caused by uh, the far right, when you know darn well that it, uh, there, were, there was a violence by both sides, Antifa, a radical left-wing violent organization, which you and other liberals have refused to condemn. Okay, let's go through it step by step, shall we? We have some fact points and some policy points. The first one. You do not believe that the killer here should be seen as a terrorist. Jeff I Sessions I, does. I believe the he's a murderer. Does. That's fine. But why you insulate him? The, you can I, I don't want to argue at all. I is. want he's your a observation. A despicable human being is a murderer. But why would you defend him from the identity of being a Chris, terrorist? Chris, did you ever hear me defend him? I'm never going to defend a murderer. You defend violent lefties like Antifa. I've never defended them, and I've never heard any Republican defend this, this son of a gun who murdered this poor woman. Why not would one. you suggest that it is not an act of terror when someone drove a car, just like what we just saw in Barcelona and so many other places, to try to terrorize people and kill someone? Why would you say, no, that's not what it is? That is not a defense. Look. Uh, Chris, there's a situation here where you got to have the prosecutors define this, whatever kind of crime it is. First degree murder, capital murder, perhaps it's terrorism. Jeff Sessions, I don't know. I'm not a prosecutor. Jeff Sessions but says it is. Whatever it is, he needs to be punished. Jeff Sessions says it is. Do you agree with Jeff Sessions? I um, Look, I'm going to look at law enforcement personnel and the prosecutors. If they say it's terrorism, it's terrorism. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not competent to answer that question. I believe it's a murder and he should be punished. But what concerns me is, is the left and the Democrats refusing to condemn Antifa and all the other far left wing organizations who are committing crimes, shooting Steve Scalise, by the way, which you've never condemned, uh, any of this violence that's occurring by the left. And that means that they're encouraged, they're emboldened, and they're going to do it again. And the blood is going to be on your hands. Corey, I would caution you not to be reckless with the truth on this particular show. Well, you the do it all idea, the time. You do it all the time. Corey, You're reckless I, on the truth every morning. Corey, yeah, okay. Well, look, you can make your general aspersions. I get that it is a clever defense when you have nothing valuable to say. But what I'm telling you the, is well, this. Well, you clearly think I the do idea, you on your show this morning. The idea, Corey Stewart, that we or anybody else didn't jump on the situation with what happened to Steve Scalise, did that you, we didn't did call it out for what it was, left? Did you condemn that we the didn't call left? out the person who did it and the ideology that may have motivated him is not just terrorism? factually. Do you Chris, want to hear the answer? Or do, you, do you want to hear the do you answer? Do you call that terrorism? Do you want did to you? hear the answer? Yeah. Did okay. you call that terrorism? Did CNN call this, the shooting of Steve Scalise? Did you, Chris Cuomo, des describe that as a if terrorist If the act? authorities had said it was, I would not have disagreed with them just to motivate and that's my, my own agenda. as well, Chris. No, we no, agree. No, no. The, the authorities but Jeff Sessions this said it is. Act, Jeff Sessions said it is. is. Jeff Sessions said it is. Well, if, if, if that is his conclusion, I haven't heard that. If that's his conclusion, you haven't heard I will it. accept that. That is his conclusion. He called it an act of domestic terror. And he said he's looking at what other charges there can be. So you change your opinion. It was an act of terror, Look, what that like man said, did in Charlottesville. If it's described as an act of terror by the prosecutor... Uh, by the attorney general, yes, then I will accept that. Then but you I'm do. Not, I'm not a prosecutor. I'm but, a lawyer, but I'm not a prosecutor. Right, but I think, see, what I think is it's a window into what you want to be true, okay? You don't know any knowledge of the facts on the ground do you. about who started violence. I know a heck of a lot more than you do. I guarantee really? you that, and I'll prove it right now. Did we you, had people did, did on the ground. Did you condemn the violence by the left we had, in, in Charlottesville? Uh, listen. Everybody condemns violence. The mistake that you're making is Except that you're you, saying apparently. what brought the people to that rally. Their motivations are equal. And that's what got the president in trouble, and that's what, what gets an apologist like what, you in trouble. What the KKK brought, what brought did not go there to fight against 
hate. And some do it the right way, some violence. do it the wrong way. It's, it's Heather, Heyer, violence. Heather Heyer and many people like her went there to fight against hate. The KKK went there for one reason, to spread hate. They don't care about the statue. It was a ruse, and you Everybody's know it. Everybody's condemned the KKK, Chris. Everybody. Everybody in their right mind is when condemned the KKK. When you ignore the motivation for no, attendance, you, every you empower in this the hate. Country, and that's why they're Republican, thanking you. They are every, thanking you, every Corey Stewart. Every politician Your friend in this Jason country has Kessler the far right. And the, the far right Democrats, is thanking you. yourself, have not condemned the far they left. They are thanking you. Why? Why is David Duke thanking you, you Corey Stewart? You, you know, look, the Antifa is taking over your party. How You're is your earpiece? It. It's a can far you, left wing, aggressive, violent organization, which you have, not, you have not condemned. Can you hear what I'm saying to you? Can you hear, is Can your you hear what working? I'm saying to you? You're not responding to what I'm saying I, because either. It's, uh, because, because you only want one because side. Because it's baseless. That's CNN. That's the definition Listen, of CNN. Here's how simple it is. Well, I've heard you on this before, and, fr and frankly, I'm a little shocked by the lack of logic. Is violence wrong? <laughs> yes. Are you must people be from in a mirror. Are people from you Antifa wrong into a mirror. if they you are must violent? Be your microphone. Yes. See, you got to be willing to listen. It's helpful. Are people from Antifa wrong when they are violent? Absolutely. Are people well, like Heather Heyer, them, then? are people like Heather Heyer wrong for going there to fight hate? No, they're not. They're right. So you try to make an analogous argument. You own Chris, the president's you're supposition. You're trying to exploit this poor woman's death. No, no. And you're trying to exploit her family and play on everyone's emotions over this then, horrible then, murder. Then why is the mother... To make your point. Why is that's the mother... Not an argument. Why is the mother upset at the president? Why are members of your own party stepping out against the president for his moral equivocation. Why is David Duke thanking there, the president look, for what he said? The president did the right thing by condemning violence on both sides, something that CNN and the left have refused to do, including a lot of establishment because Republicans. Because you can They're not afraid to do it make because you, they equal know that what you the KKK and the rest does of CNN and, and what the people who protest against them. You're you going to be labeling them. any conservative as a fascist and as a racist. No. And that's you what Antifa what? does. They no. said death not to, true. to fascists and they define all of us conservatives it's not as true. fascists. And so look, and I, you're, get, you're not doing I get that in it. your mind, Antifa and the KKK are the same thing. I get it. And that's a problem. <laughs> that is and not I what get, I said, You Chris. just said it. What you don't want to own know, it, but that's look, what you I just said. said. What I said, it's a violent organization. And you want all conservatives to condemn. You want all conservatives to be painted as people that support the Confederacy and want the statues to stay up. I have hey, to tell did you, I ever say that? the conservative, yeah, I did you did. not say that. You said, no, I did not. You said I don't want, I don't that want the a statues, lot of conservatives, I don't want you so that said makes me... that this is supporting the conservative side of this, that a lot of conservatives believe in the cultural identity of having these statues up. It's just not true. That's not about conservatism. Why don't we just have a monologue? Why don't you just do a monologue? Why do you even bother to have a conservative guest on your show when you're not going to listen or respond? Well, I am listening, and let's be honest, this is, this is what you do is that you make buzz and energy by being contentious, and that's fine, but I think you have to own what you say. Are you looking in the mirror again? The, the idea is, listen, I'm looking at you. As difficult as it might be in this current situation, <laughs> I'm looking at you. You're well, a good-looking man, but you're making ugly points. And what I'm trying to say to you is, the well, idea that, that good people were down there to protest against taking these statues down, that's what you support, that the president said. It's so not you've true in everybody fact, there. And it's dangerous Chris, as an idea Chris, because it's equally untrue and unfair. All right. All right. Is this a monologue or can I ask you a question? Absolutely. Right. Ask away. Are you stating that every single person who doesn't want to remove these monuments that came down there to protest against that, that every single member, one down there was a member of the KKK or, or a neo Nazi? I am suggesting that what we know from reports on the ground is that your suggestion that there were a lot of good people there marching alongside the KKK because they just wanted to protest taking down a statute is demonstrably false. And How do you know that? Because we had people on the ground who saw no parallel march, who saw nobody there who wasn't chanting along with the other hateful people. There was no pamphlet put out. There was no speech given about keeping the statue up for the following reasons. It wasn't organized That's for that. That's because it, it turned was into just a, a ruse. It turned into a big fight when you had leftists and far right people. Uh, who were fighting each other. I can see what you're putting on the screen right yeah, now. And, and how do you feel about before. that? But Where the, are you good but, people? But Where are you good people, happened, Mr. Stewart? 
What happened that day is you had a fight between two radical left-wing and right-wing extremists who came there for a fight. And there was violence, and we need, to, we need to condemn both sides, not just the right. You've got to condemn the left, otherwise, Chris, you're going to get more and more violence committed by the side that was never condemned. Antifa, it's going to happen again. We should stand together and condemn all violence in America. But the motivations of what brought people down to Charlottesville matters. It just does, Corey. When you came down there to spread hate, and you've said... <laughs> you you okay, said it was left. wrong to go when there. When you don't have an argument, you just drop the term hate, or you drop the term white you don't supremacist. Think, you don't think that the KKK and the neo-Nazis and the white supremacists you went there said, to spread hate? Did you no, not no, no, hear Chris, what they were just saying? Chris, of course they were. You just, you just said that I went down there to spread hate. No, went, no I'm, I, I wasn't was talking, not, frankly, by the way, I wasn't, I wasn't talking about you. If you want to join that rank, that's up to you. I'm saying when you those just groups... You just, you just no, made that I'm accusation. Say, I'm saying that when the neo-Nazis and the white supremacists showed up in Charlottesville... It wasn't about the statue. That was just a ruse. And you know that. You've accepted Everybody, as much. Chris, how many times do we conservatives have to say this? Everybody condemns neo-Nazis and the KKK. Everybody. The question is, when is the left going, going to condemn the far left uh, terrorist leftists like Antifa? A member, you know, this organization which has Tim Kaine's son in it, and Tim Kaine applauded his son for getting arrested for violent activity in Minneapolis. The left has got a double standard. You won't condemn uh, the Kane's violent son left. was arrested for protesting. And I'm just saying, Corey, the basic premise of trying to say that anybody is like the KKK is dangerous because what nobody you do, ever said you that. wind up normalizing their behavior. Chris, and that's why you're getting thanked that. by David Duke. We're going to leave it there. <laughs> but Poppy, remember, uh, Poppy, we're going to go to you now. But Corey, remember this. You're getting thanked by David Duke. White supremacists are saying they have David a friend in the president and people we like you never, because of what you're condemned, saying right now. We've always now. condemned those organizations. But always. obviously not well enough because they're thanking you. Appreciate you being on the show to put out the perspective. All right. Thanks a lot, Chris. Poppy. There, there's a lot to unpack.